Okay, so for this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to create a couple different types of patterns for fabric hats. Um, one style that we're gonna work on is a beret style. So that has usually two or three pieces to the hat um, and they're circular and they kind of sandwich onto the head. Another style I'll work on is a sectional hat. So a like it could be a hat that has um, evenly divided pieces. It could be four pieces, it could be six, it could be eight. Um, I'm gonna try to do a six piece divided hat and, and we'll go from there. Okay, so to create the beret, you're gonna need um, your ruler and a pencil. And my head size is 21 and a half inches. So I'm always going to make my hats 22 inches big. Um, and the other thing we need to think about is what is the outside shape of this beret? How big is it? So I think I want to make this about 13 inches. So half of 13 would be six and a half. Okay, and um, I'm going to use this big ruler because I have to make a big circle. Um, so what I'm going to do is place a pin at the half an inch and I'm going to place my pencil, it's gonna actually be at seven because if I were to put it at six and a half, I have a half inch in here. So I have to go at seven. I'm gonna go in a circle as best I can. And then kind of hit the end of my table. So I have to go around carefully. I might have to just measure it's hard to get in there. Let's see there. I can't, I don't have enough space, but that's okay. I'm gonna just go like this. Okay, so that's my circle. So that's the top of my beret. And because I'm gonna be sewing this together with other pieces, I need a half an inch seam allowance on the outside, which will, will allow me to sew it to the bottom piece of the beret. So I'm gonna go around with my uh, ruler with a half inch measurement on the outside. And what I'm doing is I'm marking perpendicularly to the circle. I'm just gonna go all the way around. Okay, so I cut out my beret tip and it's 13 inch diameter here, which is the finished edge. And then we have the half inch seam allowance on the outside. Now for the piece that goes next to this on the bottom that we're gonna stitch together has to fit the head size, but it is exactly the same shape as this one on the outside. So what I'm gonna do is just do the same thing. I'm gonna make a 13 inch um, circle and then add the seam allowance, and then I'll show you how to create the head size circle in the middle. Okay, so this is the bottom circle for my beret, and what I need to do now is add the head size circle. And the way I do that is I figure out my head size, which is 21 and a half inches, and you wanna always give yourself a half an inch of ease so that it fits your head nicely. Um, so I, I need 22 inch circle in the middle of this one. Okay, so to find that, you have to use a formula to find radius, which is R equals the circumference divided by two times pi, and pi is 3.14. Okay, so that bottom section, the divided by part, the two times 3.14 is actually when you multiply that, it is 6.28. Okay, so I'll, I'll write this on the screen so you can see it. Um, and my circumference is 22. So 22 divided by 6.28 is equal to my radius. And that equals 3.5, which is a nice round number, which I can use with this um, compass here. So I'm gonna set my radius here to 3.5. I'm gonna put the dot right in the center of 
my circle and I'm going to put my pencil through here and draw my 3.5 radius circle right in the middle. Okay, it sounds complicated. It's not as hard as it sounds. Okay, so this is the head size circle that should fit my head and I need a seam allowance that is a half an inch on the inside. So we're gonna have a half inch on the outside and a half an inch on the inside. So for this, all I have to do is move my ruler, which is my compass, which is really nice. I just move it a half an inch in and then I can draw my seam allowance right on the inside, okay? So what I'll do now is I'll cut this part out and I'll cut the outer circle out. Okay, so I have my two pieces cut out. Um, I still want to make a third pattern piece, which will be a headband, basically, that goes around the beret to really snug to the head. Um, but first, what I have to do is mark my pattern. So I'm going to take each one of these and divide it in half, and then fold it in to quarters. And what I'm going to do is mark my center front, and since it's a circle, you can choose any side to be center front. So I'll write CF for center front, and then I'll mark the lines for my seam allowance, okay? And then this will be the side, so I'm gonna write an S. And this side is the center back, so I'm gonna write a CB. And I write, I write a line on both sides of the seam allowance so that I can match them up to the pattern pieces later. And then this other side is gonna be marked with an S. Okay, so that's how you mark your pattern. It's always divided into quarters. And then I'll do the same thing to the tip. So I'm gonna fold down in half. And then in quarters. And mark CF and draw the line at the seam allowance and write an S for side, CB for center back, and a second S for side. Okay, and then I wrote on this pattern, beret tip, 13 inch diameter, and then on this one, I'll write beret bottom. And 22 inch head size. And then now we'll work on making the sideband or the headband. Okay, so the sideband, I keep calling it sideband, the headband um, is going to be 22 inches to fit the head and then it needs a seam allowance on either side to stitch it together. So I'm just gonna start with a straight line and I know that it starts here at the ruler, it starts at one. So I'm gonna draw the line across and, and this ruler is 18 inches long so I'll mark at 18 and at one. And to get 22 inches, I need four more inches. So I'm just gonna slide the ruler down and measure the next four inches and make sure I'm drawing the straight line. Okay, so that's the length of my line for the base of the, um, the base of the headband. And then I need to figure out how wide I want it to be. So I probably only want it to be one inch Okay, so I want it one inch and I want it to fold in half. So that would be two inches total. And this is a two inch ruler. So I'm just going, going to draw a line on the other side of the ruler. Okay, and then what I need to do is mark the ends. So make sure you're making a straight line at the 22 inches and on this side as well. Okay, so that is the basic size for the headband, but now I need seam allowance. So each edge of this piece needs a seam allowance. Um, so the bottom is going to get a half an inch. So I'm gonna line up my ruler. This little section is a half an inch, so I'm lining my line up here and then I'll mark on the outside. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay. 
And then on the outsides, the two outsides, I want to have, um, it just actually, it just needs to be half an inch also. So I'll add a half an inch over there as well. And then you'll cut this out. Okay, so here's the hat band cut out and I need to mark it to match the beret. So I'm gonna fold it in half. Actually, I'll do it this way so you can see the lines. And you match up the ends. So then you need to take the fold line and fold it to the seam allowance before you get to the end. And that, because that's the finished edge of the hat and we have to divide the hat evenly. So we're not gonna include the seam allowance. So then when I unfold this, the two ends are gonna be my um, center back. Each of them are the center back because you're gonna stitch them together. And then this one in the middle is the center front. So I'm gonna write CF. And then these ones here, are gonna be the sides, so I'm gonna write S, okay? So then you'll have this marked with all of those markings that will match up to the circle for the beret. Okay, so this time I'm gonna create a pieced hat. So I'm gonna do a six-pieced hat. And what I need to figure out is how big do I want it to be around the head, like how far does it come around? And I think I'm gonna do it about Let's see, um, I'm, I'm gonna do it about 16 inches. So that would be eight inches for the radius, okay? And I need to add the extra half an inch because of where my ruler is and where the hole on the ruler is. I'm just gonna make sure this fits here. So I'm gonna stick this in the half an inch and I'm going to draw it at eight and a half. And that'll give me the radius that I want overall. Okay. So there, that's how big I want it to be on the outside from where it hits my head all the way over to the other side where it hits my hand. So this is gonna come like kind of like a mushroom. Okay, and then we need to divide this by, well, let's do a six piece, no, let's do a, an eight piece hat, that way it's more even. So I'll draw a halfway line and another. Okay, so that's, now it's a four piece hat. And then I need to divide that into four, which kind of is tricky just eyeballing it. So what I'm gonna do is cut this, cut this out and then fold it. But what I wanna also make sure I have is my seam allowance on the outside. Might as well do it now. So I'm going to mark this at nine inches, which will give me that extra half an inch on the outside. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut it out, out here and then I will divide this into eight. Okay, so here it is cut out and I'm going to just fold it basically. Let's fold it on the lines that I already drew. And I'm just, I'm, I can see through the paper so I can see those lines. And then we'll just match that up and then fold it here. This way I am ensuring that it's even. And there's my eight pieces. Um, the next step is to try to figure out a way to, we have to make it fit into our head, right? So we want this to be, the diameter of the hat to be this big, but this is too big to fit around my head. Because my head is 20, one and a half inches, which would be a 22 inch hat. 
So I need to figure out the formula to reduce each of these into my head size. Okay, so to do the math, I need to figure out what each piece is going to be to create my head size. So 22 inches divided by eight, because we have eight pieces, is 2.75. So each one of these needs to come down into 2.75. Okay, so I'm gonna draw this line across so you can see it. This was the, the two other folds that I created. And then within this piece, I have to mark, let's see, let's find the center. So the center of this, let's fold it in half again and just get a little fold. So then I know that's the center. Okay, and then I need to get 2.75. And half of 2.75 is, divide by two is 1.3. Okay, so 1.3. I'm gonna have to mark this right here. And then on the other side. Okay, so this is about as wide as each piece needs to be. It has to taper from here come out to this part and then go into this line. Okay, so I'm gonna create this shape and that will be my one pattern piece. And I don't need to do that to the whole circle, I just need to do it to this one piece and then I would cut it out eight times. Okay, so I'm just gonna roughly draw my, my tapered and it might take a couple of times. To, to get it right. But I'm gonna do just that one side and then cut it out, fold it in half and cut it out so that it's even. So here's my pattern piece for the eight piece circle. And what I want to do is add the seam allowance to the outside. So I'm going to take another piece of paper. And basically what I would do is I'll trace this on here. And then I'll add the two inch seam allowance on the outside. And what you want to do is really make a mock up of this hat. So you can take these pattern pieces and tape them together and see what it'll look like. Or you can create it out of, a, out of fabric because sometimes when you create these curved shapes, they don't look as good as you might think. And you want to true it up or make it less curved or maybe add more curve into it. Um, but if you don't make a mock-up, then you don't really know what it'll look like. So I'm just gonna add that seam allowance back onto this pattern piece. And then I can create my hat. And this is what that eight piece pattern piece looks like. And I cut the little point at the, the edge off. I left a half an inch here so that the seam allowance is consistent, but the extra point didn't need to be there, so I cut it off. And that's it. And now I have to put it together because it might need adjusting. This might need to be curved as opposed to straight. Um, especially once you put it into a hat, you'll see where things don't quite fit together. So I'm using the original circle that I created to um, trace this pattern and I'm going to create my mock-up out of this extra piece of paper. So I have my hat pieces all together and it, paper is not the easiest way to create the mock-up, especially in this type of hat. If, if you have too much trouble, you could always use some sort of like felt, like cheap felt or something like that that you can use um, and just stitch it together. But um, you can get the sense of the shape for this hat. It's, it's a little long here 
like I almost want the fold to come sooner like down here um, but I think it could work in fabric it's kind of hard to see in this fabric in this paper um, but I did notice on the pattern you see how um, this bottom edge makes kind of like a scallop shape I want that to be more of a gradual circle so it actually needs to come up a little bit and straighten out in shape so that it doesn't have this point so I'm just gonna kind of re draw this for myself and adjust my pattern so that it doesn't have that point so it's more of a straight line across here and then I'll adjust my pattern piece and I will call it good. Now this hat could also be a little bigger, right? So that diameter could have been longer to give a little more drape over. But this is a small little eight piece hat and I think I'll just go ahead and make it. And what I can also do is create a, a headband, right? Like the beret. So I could actually use that same pattern piece that I created before. Okay, I could use this one and just attach it to the bottom of my beret, uh, my eight-piece hat. 